We're with Carrie Watkins, the executive director for the Oklahoma City National Memorial. Thanks for giving us some time today. Bet. Thanks, Chris. All right, we're, we're standing from some artwork, and you guys have new things every year, and this year you have an art show that's been going on. Well, Art to Remember, it's an idea of two great local Oklahoma artists, Desmond Mason and mm -hmm. Shelley Lewis Stanfield, and they really have just painted some paintings that in many ways reflect um, what this community has been through, the dark days, the bright days, the days in between, and so that they have, um, the, they opened the show and it lasted the end of May and the arts for sale and we are the beneficiary of the proceeds so it's a, a wonderful way for them to give back and it's a great way for us to showcase two Oklahoma artists. And just another thing to check out when you're when you're down here as well. Um, you know what else is new? The medals are a little different this year or what all do you have going on that's different this year? Well the medals are completely different. Um, we that idea actually started in Tulsa. We, I was sitting in the booth at the Route 66 Marathon and just listening to runners come by and people were kind of tired of the same old thing. And we'd had some change over the last year of the marathon started as its own 501c3 and then this past year they've transitioned it to the memorial for us to own and operate but we still use 100% volunteer base to make, to make it work. But I was sitting in the booth at the Route 66 marathon listening to runners from all across the country and most of them started saying, you gotta change these things up. It can't look the same every year. And I began to take notes and we began to, as our staff went about eight shows over the, over the marathon season, began to listen to runners. And we heard people loud and clear, they wanted to see some change in our design and our artwork. And that was a very simple change, almost a no brainer. And uh, the tree, the survivor tree is still a part of it, but it's much more colorful and, and it's something we can change year to year. But I would say that I just started in Tulsa, Oklahoma.